Well, I loved hearing about William. I think it's fun to have a bit of a rogue in your family. Or maybe he was a Walter Mitty, I'm not sure which. Either he didn't know how to manage his money, or he was spending on something else, goodness knows what, and drinking, gambling, I don't know. And what I'd like to know now, what happened to him next? Now Fiona knows that William worked as a photographer at a very grand studio in London, there's a good chance that she can find mention of him in the British Journal of Photography, the industry bible of the day. She's made an appointment at the British Library, where copies of the journal are kept. Here we are. We found three references to Mr. Crouch in the okay. British Journal of Photography, 1904, all marked up there. Great, thank you. Commercial and Legal Intelligence, January 22nd, 1904. Advertising for pupils. On Tuesday last at Westminster Police Court, W. Morris Crouch, otherwise Morris Beethoven, late of Ebury Street, Pimlico, was brought up in custody, oh my God, on remand, charged with obtaining sums of money with intent to defraud. Oh dear. Ms. William, oh, Masters William Lewis, who prosecuted for the Treasury, said the prisoner, who was a photographer, had advertised for pupils and assistants in a position to pay premiums and furnish deposits. I see. The prisoner entered into agreements undertaken to make repayment of the deposits, but at the time his affairs were at the lowest pecuniary ebb, and there was no likelihood that he would be in a position to meet his obligations. So that is why he took on so many pupils and assistants, to fleece them. The pupils had little or nothing to do. For some time, the defendant had not a camera on his establishment. One young lady said that they had played about the greater part of the day and that the defendant sat in his armchair, smoking cigarettes and reading newspapers. The whole thing was a scam. After some further evidence, Crouch recognised that there was nothing else to do but plead guilty to incurring debts by false pretenses. He'd been in custody six or seven weeks and would be kept in the second division for five months. The trial of William Crouch for fraud in 1904 was also reported in the Times newspaper and caused a major scandal. Many saw it as proof that the relatively new business of photography attracted charlatans and fraudsters. <laughs> 